Rapper Lil Wayne has been released from a Los Angeles hospital where he was taken after suffering a seizure last week. Hey guys, it's Chloe and HollywoodLife.com has all the latest. The 30-year-old rapper's hospitalization at Cedars sinai Medical Center triggered media reports that he was near death. Rumors his associates were quick to squash. Few details about his medical condition, though, were made public. But on Monday night, Mac Main, the president of Wayne's label Young Money, thanked the hospital. He said on Twitter, quote, Little Toonchi has been officially released and is headed home. God is great. Little Toonchi is Little Wayne's nickname as well as his Twitter handle. An online report that Little Wayne was near death and on life support Friday caused panic among his fans and caused Twitter to light up with messages of concern. But Little Wayne took to Twitter to say, quote, I'm good, everybody. Thanks for the prayers and love. Young Money publicist Sarah Cunningham acknowledged Friday that Lil Wayne had had a seizure, but members of the New Orleans artist camps have shot down reports that he was near death. Main tweeted Friday night, quote, don't believe the nonsense about comas and tubes to breathe. That's false. This is not the first time, though, that the singer has suffered from seizures. Back in October, Wayne was on board a flight from Texas to LAX when he started to convulse. The flight was immediately diverted to Louisiana, where he was admitted to the hospital. Born Dwayne Carter, Lil Wayne is one of the rap world's most successful artists. Artists. He won the Best Rap Album at the 2008 Grammy Awards and took home three more Grammys the next year. Beyond winning over critics, he has also been a huge commercial success. In September, Billboard reported that the rapper had tallied 109 hits on its Hot 100, surpassing the record previously held by Elvis Presley. See these arrows, click on them for the next or previous story from ENTV. And for all things Hollywood, log on to HollywoodLife.com. And don't forget to subscribe to ENTV for all of your entertainment news first.